Welcome to the Automotive Grade Linux demonstration here at Consumer Electronics Show 2017. My name is Dan Koshi. I'm the Executive Director of Automotive Grade Linux. The goal of AGL is to build 80% of the starting point of an infotainment platform for the car. So an infotainment platform is basically what you see in the dashboard with navigation and all of the features. At the other 20%, our goal is to have the automaker customize that in order to make it look and feel like their own brand. So behind me right now is a demonstration of the AGL Unified Codebase. This release includes several new features that we're going to be showing you in this demonstration today. First of all, I'd like to mention that our AGL platform now has a new home screen, which is new in this release, and includes a completely new uh, look and feel and uh, has uh, also a completely new application launcher underneath this, including application APIs and so on, which is new in this release. Uh, so let's start by showing the HVAC control system. So here you have a standard HVAC control system with driver and passenger side uh, temperatures. And what's really cool about this demonstration is that we're using real automotive hardware being controlled by real automotive software over a CAN bus. So, Unlike demonstrations of media players and things like that, this is actually real automotive uh, uh, stuff that we're showing here. So if you change the temperature of the driver's side uh, versus the passenger's side, these uh, actuators are actually going to move based on the temperature differences. Um, and also, we also can control the fan speed. And when we uh, increase the fan speed, you'll see uh, the fan here, the airflow increase. Okay, let me show you the uh, navigation feature. Um, this is simulating uh, a map and a navigation, and let me click on a destination here and start the navigation process. As you can see, we have a simulated driver here, but what's really cool about this particular release of AGL is that for the first time we're supporting dual display, and so this allows the map and the navigation information to be shown in the instrument cluster. Uh, which means less distraction for the driver since it's in his line of sight uh, right there below the windshield. Next, let me show you the multimedia feature. So here we have a media player and we'll start some music. And what's really cool about this demonstration is that we're actually playing um, this multimedia over a most ring using a most uh, device driver that is completely open source, the first ever open source most device driver in the world that is hosted by Automotive Grade Linux. Uh, and as you can see, we can change songs and play uh, different media all through the most ring, simulating front and rear speakers. Okay, next I'd like to show you a new feature for AGL, which is the radio application. So here we have a radio application where you can tune to a channel and start playing the audio. Uh, but what's really cool also in this uh, particular release of AGL is we added audio management and prioritization. So for example, if you go to the phone application and you make a phone call, the phone app can now take over the audio from the radio which is a real-world uh, application in terms of prioritizing audio in the car between uh, phone, radio, navigation, and anything that needs audio mixing and prioritization. So all of those features are now part of AGL as a standard, and uh, application ma uh, makers can now make use of those APIs and the middleware features. Okay, next I'd like to show you the uh, vehicle information dashboard feature. Um, essentially, this is a simulated uh, feature here since we're not in a ve real, real vehicle, but you can see that it shows the tire pressure, uh, the speed, um, your current uh, trip odometer, etc. And all of this in a real vehicle obviously would be read off the CAN bus uh, and actual figures would be shown. Again, real automotive software controlling real automotive hardware. What's really exciting about automotive grade Linux and specifically uh, this demonstration is that over two dozen companies have collaborated to this demonstration and to the AGL platform, which is uh, essentially a testament to the fact that this platform is becoming the de facto standard for the industry. Coming up in the future, in the coming year or so, we're going to be adding several key features such as over-the-air upgrades, uh, integration with smartphones, uh, in including protocols like Smart Device Link. Uh, and even more exciting is that this platform will be in production in vehicles on the road, we expect, in the coming year or so. And that's really what AGL is all about.